Sup guys, how are we? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the 6th annual installment of Rugby Player Reacts to the Top 100 NFL Players of 2023. Well, the 6th annual installment of the series in general, but we are indeed in the year of 2023. I began this back in 2018. It's been a five year journey um, that I've absolutely loved. Uh, yes, I take my breaks, as you guys well know, but I, when I come back, I come back with a vengeance and we get through 100 videos in about a couple of weeks and then it takes another couple of weeks to edit them and another couple of weeks to upload them and get the thumbnails ready and it's a fucking mammoth effort but it's an effort that I enjoy it's an effort that's worth something because my viewers and my subscribers and my fans and followers and look anyone who tunes into any of these videos you're absolute legends I'm going to try and tone down the swearing but um, you know when you get into the top 50 of a, of a hundred video series you do start to, to get excited. And in this case, we look at CJ Mosley, linebacker for the Jets. There haven't been too many Jets players on this list, I'll admit. But uh, to see one in the position of linebacker in the top 50, I don't mind it. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at his Wikipedia page, have a look at his stats, to tell a bit of a story. And then uh, we will watch the video and then place him in a rugby team. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's get into it. C.J. Mosley, linebacker, looks as if there's another C.J. Mosley, a defensive lineman. In this case, we look at C.J. Mosley uh, playing for the Jets, apparently, but uh, his picture here in 2015, he played for the Ravens. He is a veteran. He's an absolute veteran. June 19th, 1992, 31 years of age, 6 foot 2, 231 pound. Played at Alabama from 10 to 13, got picked up in the first round of the 2014 draft with pick number 17. Went to the Ravens, played most probably his first um, deal from 14 to 18, then got picked up by the Jets and he's been there ever since. Five times second team All-Pro participant, 2014, 16, 17, 18, and again in 2022. Five time Pro Bowler, 14, 16, 17, 18, and again in 2022. So as far as his career has gone, his performances have gone, it seems as if he came into the league with an absolute bang, right? First round picked, 2014. Uh, got to the Pro Bowl his first year, well, almost like a defensive rookie of the year, maybe, possibly. And then, you know, had to earn his stripes again in 15. 16 to 18 was quite obviously a, a, a significant portion of his career where he was just going extremely well. Had a couple of years off, it's probably why I don't really recognize him. And then come 2022, at the ripe old age of 30, that was his time to shine once again. 6 foot 2, 234 pounds, 4.63 for the 40 yard dash, 35 inches in the vertical, 9 foot 10 on the broad jump, 15 reps on the bench. And in 2014, he became the highest linebacker drafted from Alabama since Rolando McLean. Well, that was only four years earlier. In addition, he was one of eight Alabama Crimson Tide players to be selected that year. Only eight. So as far as his deals are concerned, this is always interesting. Mosley signed a four-year, $8.87 million contract, May 27th, 2014. Then he was contracted to his fifth-year option for the Ravens in 2017, $8.71 million for the 2017 season. Then he signed, then he signed a five-year deal with the Jets worth $85 million. Wow. 112 total games. Last year, 2022, 17 games played, 158 combined tackles. 99 solo, 59 assisted, 1 sack, 7 passes deflected, 1 interception, 1 fumble recovery, bringing his career totals to 112 games, 914 combined tackles, 11 and a half sacks, 46 passes deflected, 11 interceptions. So he is a player that, well, he, he likes to tackle. He likes to tackle. And in the position of linebacker, what else do you need? What else do you need? He needs to be that enforcer. And being six foot two and 231 pounds, he's not going to be the biggest linebacker, or not the most solid linebacker, but what he may lack in size and weight, he obviously makes up for an effort. I mean, 100 and, 100 and, 150 tackles, 150 plus tackles. 2021 was his career high of 168. Last year, 10 less, 158, bringing his total to 914. Another solid season. I'm going to say probably halfway through this coming season, he's going to eclipse a thousand career combined tackles. Well, with all that being said, let's get into it. Stupid ass cutback. Stupid ass cutback. Come back. What? Soft ass. Always running away. Always running away. Let's go. 
Okay, so he's got he's got a bit of attitude. He's willing to speak. I mean, when you when you lay the smack down like that, how can you not? How can you get up from a tackle, a dominant tackle like that, a massive car crash like that? It's pretty much like a car crash, guys. Let's be honest. That's just one. I mean, that's just one of his 99 solo tackles. What a beast! I come back, dead, 32. <laughs> I wonder if the running back saw him coming. CJ Mosley is a lot like Batman villain Bane. Supremely intelligent, ultra athletic, and freakishly strong. Just ask his teammates. What a season it's been for Mosley. I just see him, you know, do a lot of supernatural things. Playing Buffalo, at Buffalo. It was a pulling guard coming around. It was like a leap. <laughs> okay. I know this video is about CJ Mosley, but as far as voices are concerned, as far as a, a second career post playing, that guy's voice has got to be used for something. Uh, that that is that is indeed the lowest tone of voice we have heard thus far. He play. CJ comes down, knocks out the guard, and at the same time somehow made the play. Okay, yeah. Did I say he was undersized? Did I say he didn't weigh enough? I take that back. Huge play by Mosley. You know, I'm just like. He's a dog. That's why we call him Captain <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, he's a fucking dog. You know, he always trying to fly to the ball. Don't never make him flinch. Fourth down and goal inside the one. Running left, William. Ah, the Jets get him stopped. He's not a flincher. That's a goal line stand. Oh, he bring that, that hammer. CJ Mosley bringing the thunder. Solid tackles, great technique, lowers the shoulder, into the hip, shoulder first, wraps the arms. CJ Mosley was right there to lower the boom on James Cook. Oh, smart, smart. <laughs> <laughs> Running back, go, going to ground on purpose? Smart. Um, he's great in coverage. Simeon throws one over the middle, intercepted! When we talked about Bill Belichick, what did he say that CJ Mosley really had it? Pass coverage ability. He mean a lot to the defense. You know what I mean? He Bro, like, if you can get a if you can get a compliment from Bill Belichick post game. The core of the defense. Alright, let's see what they try to do this time. Great communicator to get everyone on the same page. Are you back? You back? Are you you you? Hey, drop left! Drop left! Go, go, go! There's many times where CJ needs to play before the play happens. And uh, Swift and the Jets get him on the ground before he picks up the first. No wonder he's got so many um, combined tackles. He's into yeah. absolutely yeah. everything. He motivates all of us. Effort, technique, violence, yes, execution. That's all you need today. Let's go. You know, we just watch his ground. We just watch how hard he worked on and off the field. You know, since day one when I first came in the building, he was always on me. He was the first person that was like, I'm not going to call you sauce. You don't have to work for it. And I dedicated my whole offseason to him and to working towards that nickname, you know. He just pushed me every step of the way. Mosley Damn, bro. It's Honestly, man, I've got goosebumps for the first time today because it's, it's things like that. It's hearing fellow players say things like that. that that's, that's what makes this series. That was an incredible piece of information that you, you wouldn't get anywhere else. Might play with an edge like Bane, but he's a good guy, always ready to defend Gotham. A professional in and out of the building, very lucky to play with CJ, and then just the caliber of player he is. Heart sold to Jets defense, number 57. Fuck, man. You know, let's be honest, the Jets have had their issues. They've had their troubles the last, you know, couple of years, but to... I mean, he, he is part of the backbone of that team, quite clearly. But the last thing we're going to do is play CJ Mosley in a rugby team. If he was to take off the pads and the helmet, uh, actually, no, some rugby players do play with little pads these days. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are, actually, as far as how, you know, how, how, many, how many inches worth of padding you can have. But um, I would say it's less than an inch, less than an inch. Certainly no plastic involved so if i had to place cj mosley on a rugby team he's six foot two 231 pounds and runs a 463 40 yard dash with the ability to hit like that i feel like with his build he'd be a fantastic lock but he's just not tall enough 
He's not tall enough, especially for professional rugby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in the backs and I'm going to put him in at, at second 5 eighth because at the end of the day, we need his defensive ability in that back line. He's got enough speed. He's got enough skill to play in the back line. But his main role is going to be on defense. It's going to be to, to, to really um, solidify that back line and not so much make one-on-one -on -one tackles, but as he does, I mean, with 160-odd combined tackles, it, it's the willingness to get into the, the nitty-gritty stuff. It's the willingness to, to see maybe his inside or outside man make that first contact and then go in there as the second man and just completely finish the tackle. You know what I mean? Just finish it. Finish it right. And then, hey, maybe he can affect a turnover and, and get back out into a second five position and, and then run with the ball. I mean, we have been placing guys with his sort of size um, out one more, but you've got to remember, he's six foot two. His, his arms aren't as built. He doesn't have the shoulders as some uh, some of these guys, some of these linebackers, but he's still 231 pounds. And at the end of the day, if you have the right angle and you've got the right technique with a body that heavy, you're going to do some damage. And that's exactly what I'd love to see him do. But the coolest thing about rugby is that, yeah, you put in the hits, but you also get as much of an opportunity with the ball in hand. He'd have to be able to pass and he'd have to be able to kick. But he does have a hand span of almost 11 inches. And with that in mind, I feel like with a bit of training, he would be able to spiral pass with the best of them. But that brings us to the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next one.